things. I want to try and find a better... A better video of punks. Yeah, I know those clips were old clips too. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, look at all the headshots. This guy's good. Okay. Does he have a lot of these? If he has, if he has a lot of these, I can see why people compare him to Jonathan. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Does he have more of those? Let me see. This this is a very hard spot for him. Oh. Oh, nice another headshot. Where did the other guy go? The other guy run away to heal. <laughs> oh this guy's movement is really good this jiggle peak hold on not that one this one this peak right here did he i don't think he hit him though but this guy has very good movement That's pretty clean. This guy has this guy's really good. This guy's really good at close range. It, you could tell by how clean his move. This guy's kind of it kind of reminds me of Xenox from North America. I need to see more, but I still like Xenox has better movement than this. But I need to see more of Punk. This is really good. Yeah, this this guy's good. This guy's really good. I see why people compare him to um, Jonathan. Punk 1v4 arm. Okay, so let me see. Uh, it's starting soon. Uh, should I... Okay, chat. Yes or no? Should I watch this, the pre-show? Or do you guys want me to watch more videos of other players? Type 1 in the chat if you want me to watch other players' videos. Or press 2 if you guys want me to watch this right now. So 2, we watch this. Press 1, we watch montage of other players still. Okay, that's a lot of, that's a lot of ones. No pre-show? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, my girlfriend will tell me when the games start. Uh, so we will uh, we'll watch the clips. We'll watch the clips. Uh, what's the 1v4 by Punk? Top 10 clutches by Punk? Let's watch this real quick. Tonight. I like I like Punk. Punk reminds me of like Jonathan. This guy's pretty good. This close range is pretty good.
Is this is this scrim gameplay or is this classic match gameplay? Okay, okay, it's starting here. This guy is pretty good. Nice. Very fast switch to the grenade right there. Oh, dang, dude. This guy's good. Hold on. I like that, uh... So, like... <clears throat> one thing that I like about this, uh... I like about this player, his movement. He's able to jiggle back and forth while aiming very well. So, let's, uh... Let, let me compare what I just watched with Adita, right? Adita close range... Um, okay. So, so one thing with Adita's movement, he doesn't jiggle around as smooth or as good as uh, Punk does. Notice how, when he, like, every time he moves, pay attention to how he moves, right? Like he he moves just one direction and then he stops in one direction and then he stops right, and this is close range one direction and then he keeps going, and then here. See he just goes right and then left, right, right and then left, okay. Now look at uh. Now, let's compare it to the same peak, okay? Same peak. Let's compare it to how this guy peaks out, right? This is, like, more high level, but I think you guys will enjoy this. Now, look at this peak. Okay, watch. He goes right. And then as he, he doesn't swing out right, like, in one direction, though. He goes right, and then he backs up. And then he curves in on his movement. Let me do this in slower speed. So. You see how he, he goes right. And then he angles around and he's moving backwards and coming in on the left to go back behind cover. And this peak though. Like this is very very small detail but it's uh, better movement. Uh Punk has better movement, I think. See how see when he goes out to the right, he swings out in one direction very wide. And then let's keep watching this because I don't think there was any other parts that he like. Like it works. Like this is it, it, this movement is fine. But I noticed really good players close range. They're they're able to move like differently. Like this is very like in detail. So hopefully some of you guys know what I'm talking about. So here he peeks out, he swings to the right side, and then he's moving back. Whatever. 
And same with this peak right here. Um, so here, see, he goes just one direction to the right. And then he's pre-firing here, but this angle here, he's swinging to widen, right? So if you watch this one more time, he swings out. He's very exposed to the wide, but you see how he like, what, what I'm trying to show you guys is uh, there's no space here. Nobody can hit him, right? There's no space here. But here, when he swings out, there's a there's a lot of space in the middle. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna talk about it anymore because you either already understand what I'm talking about or y you don't really understand it. Uh, but let's keep watching this guy. Battlegrounds Mobile India chat crashed, really? No, it didn't. It's still going. So, like, this guy's movement, like, See how he's going left and right, but he's also going back a little bit, back and forth. Like that, 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 those jiggles right there. Right here, like. I don't think he means to fall off the roof there, though. But let's keep watching this guy. He's got very good movement. Okay, we already watched this one. Okay, let, let's pay attention to his movement again here. Yeah, his movement isn't just only left and right. He he's able to move backwards in different angles very well, which makes him very it make it makes him um maybe we should call it three D movement versus two D movement. Yeah, I guess we could say that, but it makes him very hard. It makes him harder to hit in close range if you're the enemy, which is one reason why I think he's so strong close range. Is this the one v four with the arm? Oh wow, he hit that too. <laughs> oh, this guy's insane. <laughs> Is this him? Oh wow. All right, let's look at his movement. Hey, Suki. 1v3, right? Yeah, 1v3 here. Wow, that's really good. So here he's moving in one direction. But that's because, notice he's on a flat. This is all flat, right? There's no cover. There's no way for him to change like there's there's not like a small hill that he can move back a little bit to change the level of his head to throw off the enemy this is all flat so that's why he just goes in one direction left and right it makes you the fastest but in the other clips when the when it's not just flat surface and you have a small hill or you have something that's like sloping down if you're able to move left and right but also change the direction kind of like this that you're moving it's better, but it's way hard. It's harder to do. Yeah, see, this this is where you should just move left and right. 
you don't want to move backwards any you don't want to have like 3d movement because there's no reason for you to do that because you're just on the flat surface with no cover Hi, Suki. I think this one he just he just kills them, right? Snaking. I want to see more of his close range fights. Uh, he, he just swung out there. Okay, so here, uh, maybe I'm just like imagining it, but. So here he like moves in one direction, but then he like cuts in. So if the enemy comes out this way, this enemy is going to be shooting here, right? The enemy, most likely, when he pushes through the doorway, he's going to be looking to shoot right here. So with uh, so what he's doing with his movement is, is he's going this way, but then at the same time, he's cutting inside. So the enemy has to come out, shoot here, and then look this way to hit him. So if you move in only one direction, though, if you just move this way, the enemy has a higher chance of right when he goes through that doorway to hit you and pre-fire where you are. Oh, you see that? So, so look, right before he knocks him. So he actually, this, he just kind of jukes him out. This is like, this is like 200 IQ. Like make it look like you're, you're going this way, but then you're actually going to come right back around. I don't think he was ready for that. But look where this enemy is looking at right before he dies. You see how this guy, where this guy's facing? So the last thing this guy was shooting was this way. But you notice how earlier when Punk, when he strafed out this way, he went this way and then here on the pre-fire. So even if Punk didn't knock him by going back this way, the enemy would be shooting and pre-firing here and not over here. And then he could just hit him when he comes out this way. <clears throat> You guys notice this? Like the his movement? And then also the other thing. I think the other reason why he is able to come... Why Punk is able to come back and not get shot as much maybe... Is because he, the angle he's coming in from... He's coming in from this sharp angle like this. Versus if Punk was out... If he came this way and then back this way, this guy has a higher chance of shooting these areas, maybe.
That was very smooth though of Punk to Like that that's that's very clean movement. Cause you have to use like three D movement. Like if Punk just went this way and then this way, I think he might have lost that because this guy has an MK. So it's like very it's very small movement things like that that make you better in close range. And something else to notice? What? They're doing, like, They're doing player interviews? Okay, we'll watch player interviews. And, and one last thing to notice with his movement. Watch out. He never gets he never gets stuck on the wall or the door this whole time. When he's moving around back and forth and shooting here and moving around, he never his character never gets stuck on the side of the door. I challenge you guys in the chat, go to this exact same building, open this door, and move around like Punk did, and try and not get stuck on the sides of the door or on the side of this wall while keeping your crosshair each time you move around into shooting in this direction. And also, you can't do 2D movement. You can't just go right this way and then left this way. You have to go in and out like punk does and if you're if you're able to do that without getting stuck on the side of the door or your body hitting the the side of the wall and slowing you down while playing in a scrim and in a tournament while there's people shooting you then you're like you have a higher level of movement like punk does this guy's like movement is very good Like he, he never gets stuck on anything over there. And even when he pushes down the stairs, look at his movement. He's not just strafing left and right. Look, he goes, he goes to the right here. And then you see he does that same thing. He he backs up. You see that? He doesn't just go right and then left. He goes right. And then he moves backwards a little bit to the left. He does the same thing he did in that wall peak we saw earlier. When he peeked the side of the wall. Yeah, this is why this guy's so hard to kill close range. This guy's got very, very good movement. This guy's really good. This guy's close range, his movement is very good. Never does he get stuck or s he slows himself down on any any of the anything. Okay, I will try it today. Okay, let's uh let's watch some of the interviews.